Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here. So, uh, my most recent death, uh, about a day ago, uh, pretty much led to me leveling again, obviously. And I got to level 64, uh, about 24 hours after I died, and some people thought this was pretty crazy. And uh, I want to show you guys a couple of things that uh, I tend to do when I'm leveling, uh, when I'm really trying to push out those levels, because a lot of you guys, you know, you want to try a lot of different characters, you want to try to level a bunch, uh, just see what, see what the game is like from different perspectives, see what the game is like, um, for different builds and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys uh, a few of the things that I really uh, like to do to level. And I think a lot of these things, maybe it's not the complete picture, but I think a lot of these tips will help you guys a lot. So first of all, you got to know what build you want to do in the end. And the reason that's important is because uh, there's a lot of possibilities uh, for characters in the end game. There's a lot of different things that you can do. But to get there, effectively, there's actually very few. So the idea is you want to try to plan out your end game build and try to see a build that's similar to it that you can use to level. Um, typically, these builds involve like the really common stuff, like the, the freeze pulse type build, the elemental cleave type build, even like the leap slam stuff kind of works. So, you know, among those, pick one, see what your build is like and go with it. Get some decent gear for it. That's, that's the next thing. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys have like friends in this game. Everyone's got some leveling gear. Uh, if, if you don't, then one of your friends probably does. So, you know, ask for a few pretty nice pieces. It'll make Act 1 and 2, maybe even Act 3, really, really easy. And uh, as a result, you're going to have to not struggle. You're going to have to just rush through it, and it's going to be a lot more fun that way. So get some of that leveling gear. Get those Sedimas. Get, like, enough life. It's very important to have enough survivability along with a little bit of damage so you can just rush through the game as fast as possible. Uh, when you're doing the Act 1 stuff, you can finish Act 1 whenever. Uh, level 12 is fine, level 13 is fine, level 14 is fine. Uh, I would not recommend grinding anything in Act 1. Act 1 is just very, very easy. Uh, in Act 2, uh, I don't really recommend grinding anything either. Just go through the game. If you, if you kill any, everything on your way to Vol, you'll finish Act 2 at like level 22 to 24. In between there, depending on what kind of mobs you had uh, as you came across them. There's really not much strategy involved in the first two acts. When you get to Act 3 normal, uh, there's a very important thing to know. Um, docks is actually very easy. It's very easy for two reasons. Um, when you're encountering uh, monsters in this game, uh, especially uh, you know rare and champion monsters, they can have additional damage as cold and they can have additional damage as fire. And this is relevant because docks does cold and fire damage. So what's important is that lightning damage and chaos damage is completely absent. So it's very easy to stack fire and cold resist and do docks. And this is very important because if you do docks to level 34, you can get a potion, you can get a giant potion, and giant potions actually heal for twice as much as the previous potions, which makes all the other content pretty much trivial if you have them and you play somewhat carefully. The other thing to note is that all the zones after docks until maybe Cruel, maybe Sins 1 or Fell Shrine, maybe, all the zones suck for leveling. So this is really important because when you get to Cruel in this game, it actually forces you to grind to keep up with the levels of the zone. So if you are a spellcaster and spellcasters levels matter more than like melee or archers or anything like that, because the level of the gems uh, dictate your base damage. So if you are a spellcaster, I recommend grinding docks until almost, if not surpassing level 40 and then cleaning up Act 3 like it's nothing. Uh, if you're like a melee, maybe until, I don't know, 37, 38, and uh, then you can clean up the rest pretty easily and uh, move on. It's very important that you have good potions at this point. Because at level 34, you get the giant life potions. You should transmute them. You should try to get an instant giant life potion, preferably uh, seething, but bubbling is also pretty good. Just so in those tight moments, uh, you can you know spam those things and uh, you know, get out of danger. Um, at this point, when you're going from Docs to Cruel, it's very important to get a lot of survivability. Um, some builds, a lot of the uh, characters that are in the top half of the skill tree, uh, they really struggle to get life nodes. So you really have to get all of them at that point. All the ones that are in, you know, near your character, near where you are in the skill tree. Because Cruel is actually a very, very big difficulty step from normal. Especially if your character doesn't have the resist and especially if your character doesn't have the survivability in terms of armor, evasion, or, or life. So you got to get all that up as much as possible. Uh, it's pretty easy to get gear. Um, pretty much what you're looking for is gear with life and gear with resist. 
Uh, don't worry about damage. You may have to kill stuff in Cruel a little bit slower when you're doing it, but if you're like a spellcaster, it should be pretty easy. If you're like a melee or a bow, you know, try to get a weapon or a bow, and it'll help you guys a lot more than any other piece of gear. Uh, when you do Cruel, uh, try to avoid the optional stuff because the optional stuff starts to be really hard. So just, uh, you know, rush through when you get to, let, let's say, like Act 2, then you go back to Act 1 and do the optional stuff if you feel the need. And in Act 2, if you're really struggling, uh, if you have some lightning resistance, if you're just alright, you can go to Chamber Sins level 1 to grind a little bit. If your gear is pretty crappy, you're going to have to do Fell Shrine. Fell Shrine is really crappy, but um, if you have to do it, you know, try to get through it, get a few levels, and when you think you have enough, um, uh, you know, enough of a strong character, uh, try to defeat Vol. When you're beating Vol, uh, Cruel can be pretty dangerous because his Vol Smash will start doing like pretty crazy damage at this point. So what you can do is you can get a Ray Spectre Gem, get a D-Gen Bear from Waterfall Cave level 1, and Vol should die in approximately 30 seconds if the D-Gen Bear manages to stay alive during that time. So you can adapt, adapt that tactic for any other boss from this point on. It's not really viable in normal because in normal the bears have too little HP compared to um, uh, the monsters that uh, are hitting it. So uh, that's pretty easy. Uh, the main goal in Cruel is to get to City of Sarn. City of Sarn in Cruel is an amazing zone because it's extremely easy, it's extremely efficient, and um, you know, it's high enough level that you can grind out into the mid-50s if you have to. If your gear really sucks, just grind out that zone uh, as much as you think you need to, and then clean up Act, uh, act 3. Uh, docks is an okay area as well, but in Cruel Docks, monsters tend to hit pretty hard, and if you don't have enough uh, of a tanky character, it's not going to go well for you. Uh, whenever you're doing these, these runs, um, you know, if if it's not like the, a new a new ladder or anything like that, try to get these waypoints from from other people. You're just wasting your time clearing Solaris one, two, and three, where someone else can just give you a waypoint. You can skip all of it. So try to get in contact with some friends. Maybe help you a little bit. It doesn't take much for them to help you out, and it saves you a lot of time. Eventually, when you when you get to kill uh, Piety, uh, you're in Merciless. Uh, Merciless, definitely avoid the optional zones. You guys have seen what can happen there. And uh, your goal is to get the ledge. A ledge can be pretty serious. Sometimes you have a large pack of archers with additional fire and cold damage, so you want to focus on those resists. You want to focus on fire and cold resistance, which can be pretty difficult. So uh, maybe cap out one and be really careful and see if the monsters you're facing has the other element. Uh, the issue with this is that if you neglect your lightning resist too much, Kuduku might kick your ass. So you want to save a Quicksilver when you're running through. Or alternatively, when you're at ledge, you just never do Kuduku. You just do the other side, and if you make a mistake, you just TP out and just, you know, you never do Kuduku. Uh, when you're doing Merciless, the bosses can hit really, really hard. So you really have to play very, very carefully in Merciless. Even if your gear is good, even if your resists are good, the bosses can still, like, combo you and kill you almost instantly. So you got to be really uh, prepared for that. Eventually, once you uh, get you know close to 60 in ledge, if you feel the need, uh, you should be able to do this stuff fairly easily if you're careful with the bosses. And uh, your next goal is to get to either Fell Shrine, if your character uh, is a little bit weak, which, in my opinion, almost all the characters that are at this stage are going to be pretty weak because um, going from uh, you know almost level 60 into the high 60s is a really big step up for a lot of characters. It's a really big step up in terms of gear that you can get. So a lot of people are probably going to just farm Fell Shrine for a good like six or seven levels, and uh, as a result, you're going to end Act Two probably with a D-Gen Bear, uh, you know, maybe at 65, and some people have done it even at level 70. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, when you get to Act Three, uh, City of Sarn. Some people really like it. It is good for some builds, but other builds are just really not that good for it. And um, the goal for uh, the builds that don't really like the monsters that move around, those with the uh, uh, the whirling blades, you're going to want to try to get the docks. If you get the docks, you have to keep in mind what I said about normal docks. It is a pretty serious zone on Merciless, but if you really stack your that armor for the phase runners, if you get enough cold resist, if you get enough fire resist, uh, you shouldn't have too many problems. You should be pretty much fully equipped to do docks. You can do docks uh, fairly efficiently up until up until level 74, but I mean, if you really want, you can uh, probably grind it up to like 77 or something like that. And if you do that, you'll probably find enough gear in the meantime. You'll probably have an opportunity to switch from your leveling build to your real build. And as a result, you should have a pretty, uh, you know, well-rounded character ready to do some maps. And at that point, it's all yours. So that's pretty much what I do. It's uh, 
pretty easy kind of track. It's really fun to really speed through the content, especially on hardcore when the risk element is there. And uh, you know, maybe now you guys can see exactly what I'm doing and uh, try to adapt some of the information towards your leveling strategies as well. You know, spend a little bit less time leveling, a little bit more time uh, in the end game, which is, uh, you know, maybe a little bit more fun. So if you guys enjoyed it, I'll see you guys tomorrow.